Back at it here at Shamrock Fighting Championships as Adrian Archie takes on Joanna Carney. Please welcome to the cage, Joe Carney. Coming to the cage by way of Ridgeport MMA in Ridgeport, Illinois, it is Joanna Carney. Now, looking to get back on the winning track here, lost in her last outing. She told me this camp was all about footwork. She also told me that this is the first time that she has ever fought someone who was shorter than her. What is it, Adam, that you deal with the, the being the taller fighter? So being the taller fighter, Jeremy, the, it, I, you know, Jesse Finney trained me for most of my career, and what we learned is that you can use it to your advantage. So when you're fighting a shorter, uh, a shorter opponent, you've really got to work that distance, work that range, use your, especially here in a kickboxing match, use your kicks, use your jabs, use your long straight punches. And you, it's almost like you dictate the pace with, with, your, with your output. And her opponent, Adrian Archie. Coming to the cage, it is Adrian Archie. Now Adrian Archie took the win in her last outing. She told me though that the split decision was not what she wanted. She wanted that finish, so tonight she is looking for it. As we see in her corner, glory kickboxing pro Quentin O'Brien. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Adrian Archie, 37 years old, 5 foot 2, 140.2 pounds. Joanna Carney, 46, 5 foot 5, 137.4 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a kickboxing bout set for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships 140 pound division. Introducing first on my right, fighting out of the title MMA blue corner. A fighter that stands five feet five inches tall, official weight 137.4 pounds. Fighting out of Bridgeport, Illinois, Joe Carney! Across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the first form red corner. She stands five feet two inches tall. Official weight 140.2 pounds. Fighting out of High Ridge, Missouri, Adrian Archie! Referee Mark Blossom has a call for this contest. Jeremy, I'm going to state the obvious. I'm glad Adrian braided her hair because that, that tail of the tape picture, she had a, cra <laughs> a crazy thing going on there. This fight is three two-minute rounds in the Shamrock FC women's kickboxing division. Joanna Cardi in the blue tape, Adrian in the red. Adrian coming out flying. Well, yeah, we know Adrian's last fight. She came, a she came out and she was going from bell to bell. I think that was a slip. Adrian will not stop. This is what she's wanted to do forever, so she's gonna she's gonna give it 100%. Carney coming in with a big shot there. Oh, she's gonna hip toss her. That's not that's not how it works. It is not in the rule book. No, nope, no takedowns in this one. Big kick there to the leg out of Carney. Carney, nice big right, right hand. hand. What I like to see Adrian do. What is going on here? What I like to see Adrian do. <laughs> is get in there and a little bit of head movement, throw some good shots, nice little leg kick, keep that range. Um, oh, nice head kick right there. Joanne Carney keeps locking up and yep. getting these weird exchanges. If I was Adrian, I wouldn't even worry about the knees right now, I would just pick her apart from the outside. Being the shorter fighter as well, <clears throat> that's gonna pose a little bit of a different look. But I think she's able to do it in this situation. Is that like a little mouse under Joanne's eye? Yeah. A little mouse, maybe a little cut. Now, she keeps turning her back. That's gonna be a bad one in the rule books here. I mean, you Yeah, it doesn't look good for the judges. What I would like to see Adrian do as a kind of a counter to that, there's a nice little quarter Nelson almost grip I like to have clinch for a clinch, and I'm sure Quentin's gone over it with her a few times. Grab her, throw that knee right to the body, right in the middle of her sternum. But see, this is a tough fight for Adrian because she's, Training with Quentin, she's very technical. Right, and, and now she's fighting a non-technical person. Yeah. So it kind of throws your game off. Big right and left there, though, out of Carney. It does. What it does for me, Jeremy, I've never been in a street fight in my life. I don't know how, the, I don't know how that happens. I don't know right. how you fight. 
So unless I like, so when I get in there with someone who's kind of going out there and brawling almost, it, it, it's kind of uh, deceiving, tricky. So Adam, if you're in the corner at Joanna Carney, what advice are you giving her? She's got a punch. Stay off the clinching, stay off the weird uh, little holding uh, techniques. You've got to punch and do some straight line punches. You are the taller fighter. Get those hands in her face and just start throwing, um, you know, you can almost go with some burners right there, which is just one, two, one, two, one, two, right down the middle. Here as we look at our instant replay, Archie just kind of stalking down and goes big head kick upstairs. Yeah, I'd like to see Adrian set that up with some leg kicks. Go out there and, and Adrian, she's got big heavy legs. She's, she throws great kicks. Start slamming them low, slamming them low, and then you can pull a little fast one and bring it up top. Yes, you do. Now, the Joanna's right, got hers. The right side of Joanna's face has taken a couple shots right there. I'd like to see Adrian just start to with, pick it apart. I'd like to see her come with a straight right, hard left hook, maybe, and then slam that leg kick. Adrian's got to keep a little bit of a distance here. Nice body kick attempt there. Oh, big right hand. See, this is causing Adrian to be a little bit more sloppy yeah. than she normally would be. I mean, this is just kind of a slobber knocker here. Both of them are, aren't really <laughs> using a whole lot of technique. You sound like a pro wrestler commentator right there, Jeremy, a slobber knocker. Oh, my goodness. Thank Jason you very much. Jason Frazier would love this. <laughs> the old Jim Ross reference. Oh, big nice. overhand right there out of Carney. That's what she has to do. She's got to throw those hard, straight punches right down the middle. Carney again finds a home. Nice right hand again. Good leg kick by Adrian. There she goes, slamming those leg kicks, and then she tried going up top. You've got to set that up, though, Jeremy. Again, both of these girls now are throwing wild. Adrian's got to calm down and try to start fighting her fight again. Yeah, she definitely has to. Nice right hand. That right hand's finding a home for Joanna Carney. Ooh, big left out of Adrian Archie right there. But Carney answers right back. Yes. Again, overhand right finds a home. If you see what Adrian's doing, she's coming in and she's not really moving her head. She's almost just eating one to give one. That's not a good game plan, especially when being the shorter fighter. You've got to get in there and, re and, and, and actually touch her. You're not going to reach her if you're trying to go tit for tat with someone longer arms. Yeah, we're definitely seeing more strikes landed here out of Carney in this round. Mark Wasson is one of the best kickboxing referees I've ever experienced. Heading into the third round, Adam, how do you see this one so far? I say the first round went Adrian. The second round uh, could go either way, but it might be Joanne Carney. I think that um, right there she was finding a home for that right hand a little bit more. I, I think Adrian's going to have to get technical with this. You know, yeah. a little bit of head movement, leg kicks. Beat those legs up. Yeah. Both of them are just kind of throwing sloppy haymaker punches here as we look here in our in our replay. Archie has got to get back to that technical striking from the first round. Yeah, she definitely she definitely has to get back to being a little more technical and not be forced to fight current Carney's fight. Third and final round. Third and final round. Oh, big, big right, right hand. hand. <laughs> Archie's stalking her down here, but she's eating him as she's coming in. So here's where judging gets a little tricky. Adrian's pushing the pace, but every punch is landing for Carney right there. 
She's landed about four or five good shots and Adrienne just got one back. Oh, big, nice body shot left hook up top. That may have been the most technical punch we've seen out of Carney yet. I might have been an accident too, Jeremy, I'm not <laughs> sure. This is what Adrian needs to do. She needs to get in there and get some punches going because right now Carney's winning this round. It's early in the round, but she's winning that round. Nice right hand big by Carney. stiff straight one right there. I would love to see one of these girls just come off with like a crazy flying knee. <laughs> Something that we don't expect. Big, Ooh, big, oh, big shots are out of big, Carney. Big but, left hook. But, but Adrian turns her with a leg kick. This is how tough Adrian is. She's just saying. She's, she's just walking straight she through. She does not care. No, there is no head. Oh! Oh! Big right hand with the, with the and she dropped her. That's going to be, here's the thing, that's going to be an eight. An, in this particular, it does not go 10-8 for a okay. knockdown. I checked that before we started. I went with the old-fashioned right. full contact that's the old, rules. That's the old rules. But now, so carney has got to get this back, though, because that's definitely in the judges' eyes of that knockdown. Absolutely, Jeremy. They're not going to remember anything that Carney did except for that knockdown. That may very well have stole the round for Archie. Oh, oh, oh big Carney right hand her by back. Carney. Adrian answers with the right hand. Big right Big hand. right hand. Jeremy, I'm glad I'm not a judge in this one. Both girls with their hands in the air. Great fight by these these, uh, these women here, Jeremy. Definitely a brawl there tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in this women's fight. Bellator cut man Sid G in there. So we see the knockdown here again. I checked this out with referee Dwayne Best. It's a 10-9, it is not a 10-8. Okay. So, but it's all really gonna come down now to is that what the judges see? Because Carney was winning on strikes in that round, so it could come down to the second round too. Absolutely. It's a close fight coming into this. Let's see how it plays out. Let's send it up to Joe Parisi to make it official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for both of these competitors. What a battle. After three rounds, we turned this one over to the judges' scorecards, and folks, we have a majority draw. All right, Adam, let's explain this now. A majority let's hear for both draw. Of these ladies, though. What an incredible fight tonight. Give it up. Explain incredible how battle. that works. So, a majority draw here, Jeremy. It depends on how the judges scored it. You know, you got two judges that give it a 10-9. One judge might have called that a 10-8 round. So that, and that's probably what happened without seeing the scorecards. One judge could have given it a 10-8, and one judge could have given her the winning, winning that round. Because that was a very close round. Right. So without looking at the scorecards, it, it's all about the numbers. Very interesting. Well, we have more action to come.